Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a first impressions and review on the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Friend Cation Palette. Now, I know this has been out for a while now. I just haven't got around to filming with it yet, but I absolutely love Desi and Katie, so I still wanted to do a dedicated video on the palette. So in this release, I only picked up the Friend Cation Palette and another over-the-top gloss. I did love the look of everything else, but just didn't feel like I needed it. The highlights are way too dark for my complexion. And even though the lip shades are stunning, I did buy two of the lipsticks from their first collab and the colors just look slightly different on me than what they do on them. So I didn't want to risk that again. I am wearing a lipstick from their first collab now. I don't get a lot of wear out of it. I find that this shade on me only goes with certain eye looks. But the formula is fantastic. I don't doubt that they're bad lipsticks. I just didn't need to buy them. But anyway, I'm still supporting my gals, so that's all that matters. I picked this up on release date and it was 55 US dollars. So that converts to around 78 Australian dollars. That's a little bit pricey, so my expectations were quite up there. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this look here. But before we get into that, I'll just quickly jump into some swatches. I have had this palette for like two to three weeks now and haven't even swatched it because I wanted to wait for the video. So I am so excited to swatch these. To start off, I'm going to set my base with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the shade Fair 08. Once I apply the concealer, I'm going to carve out my brows with the Sigma F70 brush. And then I like to go in with the Sigma P88 to blend out the concealer on my lid and get a nice even base. And then to set that, I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me powder and put a light dusting on the lid. Just make sure there's no creases. Okay, eyelids are set. Now, I really, really want to use this shade here. That one's called Dirty Money. I think I might go for something simple, maybe just put some of the browns through the crease and then put Dirty Money all over the lid because that needs to be the feature shade of today. I'm going to start out with this shade here called Necessary. I'm just going to pack that through the crease from inner to outer corner and then blend it out. So far the pigmentation is good, it's blending well, and I'm able to build it up really easily. Next I want to deepen up the crease a little, so I'm going to take this shade here. This one's called Cheens. Ooh. <sighs> She's pigmented. This one is really pigmented, so I'm just tapping off the excess and going in really lightly to build it up. It's looking a little bit patchy, so I'm just going to try and build it up in those areas. I'm going to go back in with the first brush I used and try and help blend out that darker brown. All right, now that those two shades are blended out, I'm going to go in with Dirty Money. Oh my God, this looks so nice. Okay, I'm gonna try my finger first and then I'll go in with a brush just to blend it into my crease. That shade is stunning.
I'm going to try wetting it with some Fix Plus and just see how much more it pops. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I feel like that shows the gold a little bit more. I don't want a really defined crease, so I'm just going back in with the brush I used for the darker brown. And I'm just going to run that along the edge to blend it out. So that dark brown shade that I used is actually a lot more cool toned than what I was expecting. I feel like it doesn't look that cool in the pan, but it's really, really dark on my eyes. I think I might also go in with just a kiss and just tap a little bit of that in the center of my eyelid to brighten it up a bit. Mmm, that does it. That just really makes it look more gold. Oh, that is pretty. Ah, I dipped my finger in the wrong color. <laughs> I got the pink. Shit. I'm just gonna go over the top of it with more green. Just to try and hide it. And then I'll go back over it with just a kiss. All right, overall thoughts so far. The first shade I used was perfect, blended out really well. The dark brown, as I said, it is more cool tone than what I was expecting. And I did have to just work a little bit harder to blend it out because it is so dark. The lid shade, Dirty Money, is absolutely beautiful. The Fix Plus definitely helped to get it looking a bit more shimmery and kind of seeing the gold shift that's in the shade. And then topping it off with Just A Kiss really made it pop. I have a feeling I'm going to be using Just A Kiss as a topper on a lot of eyeshadow looks. All right, so I have done my base. I always feel like the eyes look so much better once my base is on. So for under the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a mix of the two mattes and smoke that out. So I've put Just A Kiss on a pencil brush and I've also wet it with some Fix Plus. This is going to go in my inner corner. Mm. That's it, that's where it's at. All right, I'm gonna put on some lashes and mascara, BRB. All right, so eyes are finished and I also popped on some lipstick. I used the More Crema Please from their first collab with Dose of Colors. I don't wear this shade a lot because I find it pulls a little bit, I don't know, it's a bit of a weird shade on me and it only goes with certain eye looks, but I really like it with this greeny gold color on my lid. Overall thoughts, I absolutely love the shades in this palette. I thought that the pigmentation was there and they blended easily. The shimmers also packed a lot of punch too. The dark brown shade wasn't my favorite. I still feel like it looks a little bit patchy, but I don't know if I'm just being picky. I don't think I'm that good at working with darker colors either, so it could just be me, but I'm excited to try out the rest of the shades in the palette and see how they go. There was really minimal fallout when I was applying the shadows. The only one I had fallout with was the greeny gold shade, and I think maybe that was because I was using my finger. I had a lot on and kind of just swiped it across. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this look and if you have this palette, what are your thoughts? Because I would love to know. This palette is still available on the Dose of Colors website. It's also available from beautybay.com and if you're in the States, you can pick it up in store at Ulta. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and if you wanna see more looks, make sure you come follow me over on my Instagram because as I said, I will definitely be using this palette again and I will post some pics over there. Well, I hope you are all having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.